I'm joined by half of our judging team for 2024. Hello guys, do you want to introduce who you are and what it is that you do and how you got involved with the Film Festival? Hi, yeah, I'm Stuart Andrews and I'm Head of Film Studies at Colliers in Horsham. And Jeff invited me to join the judging panel two years ago. So it's my second year judging, my first year attending. So it's, it's really exciting to be here for the first time, yeah. See, the, see all the buzz, see all the buzz. and the atmosphere. Yeah. Rebecca, we chatted last year, but introduce yourself again. We'll pretend we don't know who you are. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rebecca Moon. I'm head of creative BTEC Media at Colliers. Um, again, part of the judging team. Thankfully invited back for a second year. Really, really loved it this year. Amazing, amazing talent. Um, lots of incredibly detailed films, weren't they? Very technical as well. So the we were. production value is, I think, increased this year. Massively. Yeah. Yeah. Heard that a lot this year. A lot of people are saying that. So, what was it like judging the films? Is it quite? Is it quite scary? Is it just exciting? What does it feel like? I think it's it's quite it's quite fun. Um, I felt the pressure this year because I was trying to make up for lost time, I guess, not attending the awards last time. Last time, and um, but but yeah, you're you're watching on a laptop and you've got headphones on and you're immersing yourself in these in these pieces of art. You know, master strokes of filmmaking. Um, but watching them tonight on the big screen is, is a whole other level. So it's like watching it again, you know, for the first time. Yeah, yeah well, it absolutely is. And I, I think it's really different watching it on your own. Because we don't, we don't watch them together, we don't talk about them, apart from putting our judging and our comment on, so then we can kind of collate it all at the end. So it's, it's very unanimous at the end. Um, we don't, we're not discussing them, so it feels very, yeah, you feel like the stakes are high. You feel yeah. like you're, you're, we watch every single detail, every detail. Well, yeah, because you might have given something full marks and you're sat in the cinema and everyone's like, What's going on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was definitely yeah. that amongst the judging panel, you know, we, we'd be arguing it out <laughs> online. Uh, uh, what, well, I, I've given that, you know, X amount and you've given that. Right, OK. Um, um, OK. So we gave it everything we thought was very honest. But like I said earlier, we were coming at it from very different. I was coming at a very technical point of view. You might have been coming at it more storyline, narrative. More, more analytical, maybe theoretical mm. point of view, yeah. I mean, for example, I, I don't know if I'm going to upset anyone by saying this, but... <laughs> Careful. One of the nominations tonight was um, uh, the anger, which oh, yes. I don't know if you saw that. You saw that one, didn't you? And it was under the best drama category. But I was like, this is hilarious. It's, 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 I hope it's intended as a comedy. I'm pretty sure it was. And um, drama. I wanted to see comedy. that. Wanted to see that within the comedy category yeah. as well. But you know, you can't always get what you want. And the shortlist has to be short by, by definition, doesn't it? So. And it's subjective, right? Like it's completely subjective. So, um, what were you specifically looking for? Would you say in films? It, it's difficult to say. I think it depends on what what you're feeling in the moment and what the category is. And and you know, certain films can have. You know, really high production value. So, like Eden Bound, the science fiction film that won in the drama category earlier, was just so incredibly polished, and it was like it was like a it was like a Hollywood production. It was so so. What's the one I'm looking for? Um, believable. Believable. Yeah. It was believable, yeah. and that's I think that's what I was looking for. I was looking for believability, and and for a moment, if we shut our eyes with those AirPods on, watching it on not shut your eyes, but actually watching it, you could be watching a trailer for a real film. And I think that's it. And it doesn't take a huge budget to do it. And we've heard that, haven't we, from some of the filmmakers tonight. It doesn't take a huge budget. It just takes craftsmanship, time, and a good team. And I'm all about production. So um, yeah, valuing really good production. I think we've got some films coming out later on in the, in the, the young filmmaker yeah. categories that are not maybe as polished as what we've seen so far, but are gonna still have impact and still yes. move the audience, you know? Yeah. Um, so that's really exciting, I think. And you can see yeah. that with technical development, they would go far as filmmakers as well. So I think that's, we're looking for, across the categories, a fair judging. We're fair judges. I think Jess picked us all because we're all very different as well. So it's four very different people coming at this. We're not all from the same standpoint. It's kind of a good thing and a bad thing that though, isn't it? Because you're like, it's good that you're getting different um, perspectives, but maybe difficult because you might all have completely different opinions, but. We did have a few disagreements, yeah. Um, yeah on, on the star ratings. Yeah. Which Any arm wrestling to like? <laughs> yeah, one or two, one or two. <laughs> so why do you think events like this are so important? Well, I think, I think particularly for young people, up-and-coming filmmakers who are just starting out and looking to develop their skills, um, 
you make something, it might be for a, you know, a course at uni or a course at college in our case, and it gets, it gets seen by teachers, it gets seen by experts, and then given a grade, and it's kind of forgotten about. It's left alone, it's like, right, yeah. move on to the next project. But actually, some of these things have legs and they should yeah. be seen by a wider audience. So a festival like this is, is just the, the most amazing way to get something out there and to get some recognition for all your hard work and effort. You know, it's, it's, an, it's a really difficult process, isn't it, filmmaking? Yeah, and it's huge. Like, we're seeing snippets, like 10 minutes tonight, which has taken these people sometimes, sometimes if they're really professional, a few days, but sometimes weeks of work and, and sponsors and budgets and all sorts of teams and favours to friends to pull together. And just from networking tonight, I've talked to so many local people. So I think it's really lovely that we can, and lots of people have offered to come back to the college and talk. And that's so important. The, the kind of feeding back yeah. um, is really important to inspire the next generation. We call that a feedback loop in education. Yes, the the feedback, feedback loop. loop. Yeah. Experts here. Now, on that note, what would you say to any aspiring filmmakers or any existing filmmakers who are watching this who just want a bit of advice? I think if you want to be a filmmaker, just be a filmmaker, just do it and just experiment, try, see what you can do, make mistakes, learn from those mistakes, dust yourself off, try again. You might not make a masterpiece in your first attempt, but give it, give it a year, give it five years, you'll be making Eden Bound. Yeah? Great advice. Don't be afraid to start at the bottom, do the coffee runs, be on shoots. You know, go to the small fry and then work your way up and you'll soon make connections. It's all about who you know. You've heard it here first. That is your advice. Go away and act on it. But thank you guys so much and have a lovely rest of your evening. Thank you. Thank you.